Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is on how to cultivate and maintain hope in hard and painful seasons. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsors. Hope in Hard Seasons, written and read by Jennifer Slattery. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to God's elect, exiles scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with His blood. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. 1 Peter 1, verses 1 to 3. Imagine losing your job, many of your friends, maybe even experiencing rejection from your extended family. How might you feel? And how might your hardship and pain affect your faith? Well, I don't know how I'd respond in such a situation. I do know how I reacted decades ago when a series of difficult events left my family and I in a three-year period of constant transition, loss, and uncertainty. Initially, I felt abandoned by God, not chosen and loved. But God used that dark season to deepen my faith and the bonds within our family. That said, I've never experienced persecution like the Christ followers addressed in 1 Peter. After turning to Christ for salvation, these mainly Gentile believers suffered grief in all kinds of trials inflicted by their Greek and Jewish neighbors. If evaluating their standing from their circumstances alone, these precious men and women would not have felt chosen. Therefore, the opening of Peter's letter must have felt like an assuring balm to their wounded souls. To God's elect, he wrote, chosen according to the foreknowledge of God. How comforting to read the reminder of God's perfect wisdom of all things past, present, and future. He knew before they even understood who Jesus was, precisely what they would experience each day after they yielded their souls to him. He chose them not for destruction or defeat, but for victory and eternal joy. In Christ, they'd received a living hope, a firm promise that no one and nothing could take away. They could know with certainty where they were heading and everything that awaited them when they arrived. In the New International Version quoted above, Peter referred to these men and women as exiles. The New American Standard Bible calls them aliens, and the New Living Translation refers to them as foreigners. The Greek word behind each of these translations indicates someone temporarily residing in an area that is not their permanent home. Intersecting life and faith. According to scripture, this applies to all of us. This present world is not our home. We are essentially passing through, steadily progressing toward our eternal destination and the inheritance secured for us by the death and resurrection of Christ. Today's passage reminds me of Christ's words in Matthew 6, verses 19 to 21, when he said, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. That doesn't mean God doesn't want us to enjoy nice things, invest in a 401k, or take relaxing vacations. But he does warn us of the dangers of allowing those temporary pleasures to capture our hearts. When that happens, the hardships we experience feel all the more painful because we're less anchored in Christ and overly attached to the things we've lost. Peace comes when we remember that we're travelers passing through and therefore Today's pain won't last forever, and we are headed toward a beautiful, joyful, 
certain and secure paradise while we will no longer experience pain, sickness, persecution, or heartache. A place where we will live with God completely whole for all of eternity because we are chosen and called to a hope-filled future held secure by the God of hope. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.